in humans a parent is the caretaker of a child the most common types of parents are mother father and grandparents parents protects their children day and night parents are special no matter what because they gave life to us the most precious thing in the world is to see our parents happy the love of mother and the care of the father is always much higher than anything our parents can be a little nosy and overprotective at times but we still love them our parents are our cool buddies father is a male parent of child father means showing love and not expecting anything in return father raise a children into a respectable adults by teaching and being actively involved in their lives father is a role model and a hero he is a strong shoulder to cry and someone to lift you up in our success mother mother is the person who has most impact in our life and she makes us a better person mother has good qualities and values and being a strong woman supportive and spiritual are the most important kinds of her personality mother is the strongest person bible teaches children how they should live and they will remember it all their life it also teaches parents to raise their children with christian discipline and instruction our fourth commandment tells us to honor our mother and father colossians chapter 3 verse 20 says children it is your christian duty to obey your parents always as jesus obeyed his parents we will also obey our parents what will you say when i get up in the morning i will say good morning When mummy gives me a cake I will say Thank you mummy When I break a glass I will say Sorry When I ask for money from dad I will say Please dad do this activity as your homework fill in the blanks my father's name is my mother's name is my father helps me to my mother helps me to little down children Today I will tell you the most wonderful story of them all the birth of Jesus Christ There was once a young man named Joseph who lived in the town of Nazareth He was a carpenter and was soon to marry a woman named Mary One night when he was sleeping he had a very strange dream An angel came to him and said Take Mary as your wife The child in her is from the Holy Spirit. When the child is born, name him Jesus, 
and he will save his people from their sins. In those days, Emperor Augustus Caesar commanded that his people be counted. To do this, everyone went to their hometown. For Mary and Joseph, this was Bethlehem. The journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem was long. Mary was almost ready to have her baby at this time. They went down the hills in Galilee and up to the Judean hills to Bethlehem. Bethlehem was full of people who had come to be counted. The town had an inn, but it was full. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. That night, the shepherds who were guarding their sheep in Bethlehem suddenly saw that they were surrounded with light and an angel was standing in front of them. Seeing the angel, the shepherds were scared. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I have come to give you the good news. Christ the Lord has been born in Bethlehem. Suddenly, the sky was filled with angels praising God. On hearing this, the shepherds went to Bethlehem and found Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. Oh, that's a wonderful story. Yes. So where was baby Jesus born? In a stable in Bethlehem. Yes. That's all for today, children.